So here is Denali, and he's been really great at uh, leading outside of the pens, so he got to have his first night in the grass paddock. And uh, so my thought for today was that I wanted to work on his hind feet and to fix some of the balance there because he had very, very long toes. And again, I think he was kind of uh, adding a little bit of stress to his tendons that I, I did not want. So I wanted to help him out with that. So uh, in doing so, I think it's really important to have our Mustangs really well and prepared and trained for our farriers. Farriers have a very hard job and I respect uh, the work that they do for sure. I've trained under a couple of farriers and I think it's really important to learn balance and uh, even if you can just learn to do some basic trimming, uh, it can be very helpful. And as always, the trim is one of the most important things uh, for a horse's balance. So getting their feet to feel better can make their whole body feel better. And then you have a much more comfortable and more relaxed horse. So that is always the goal. And uh, again, the key is really going after that balance. And uh, you see here, I'm gonna be picking out his hind left. I'm trying to keep it low for him, trying to make it comfortable. And he, he's a very good boy. It's easy to forget that he has, uh, you know, just been out of holding for barely a week. Um, but he handles it all pretty well. And he gives me a good feeling about his hind legs. Like he doesn't feel like he's going to jerk and pop me, although that's always a risk and it's always something to be very mindful of. So again, I'm going to check the balance of the foot. And uh, I know kind of where I want to uh, take off. And the thing about the Mustangs is you kind of want to get in and out pretty quickly in the beginning because you don't want to uh, hold up the foot for too long. So he's, he's letting me get a good nipper run here. And again, I always try to be a little bit on the conservative side because you never want to make them sore. You always want it to be a positive experience. But I was able to get in and out of there before his little timer was up. So that's important. I'm just gonna give him some time here for a second. And then go back, checking the angles and seeing where I can adjust the trim again here he's just kind of being a little bit impatient so I'm gonna hold the foot a little bit longer and see if I can get a little bit of a run done down on that toe And he's being a very good boy. I was able to catch it when he went to jerk it. So I know I'm kind of pushing the time limit a little bit now. But he's handling it really well. Again, just working. Sometimes their soles and their hoof walls are so thick and hard. It can be very difficult for the nippers to go through, um, even if they're very sharp nippers. Um, so there's something to be said about the Mustang's feet, that is for sure. They are rock hard, but it also is super important because in Florida, it's a sandy base and their feet grow like crazy. So um, generally, once I can get the initial trims done and then I can keep them tidied up with the rasp and they become very, very good about their feet. So I noticed that I had a little bit more foot I could take off on the hind left, so I went back just to fix a little bit of that balance and uh, finish up that foot. And he was a very good boy. And afterwards, he had some really good releases, so I think he's starting to feel a lot better. Again, it wasn't exactly the perfect prettiest trim, but I was able to at least help his angles a little bit. And you, again, he's <laughs> he really is releasing a lot. Um, but I can start to really tidy that up. And then it will be 
After we get them pretty comfortable with their legs and being trimmed, we'll start to add wearing chaps around them. And uh, because it can be quite different when they have the farriers come and trim them. So, uh, but he was really, really good for that. I was really pleased that he's feeling better. He was such a good boy. Uh, he got to venture into the barn for the first time. And so he is uh, enjoying the hay box that we have and just checking out the stall and he handled it all in stride and uh yeah it was a really good day for denali and so he's check marked all the boxes and he'll just be kind of uh building up on everything that he knows now